can I can I have one Justin? I got a spirit and got a spirit all the time. My name is Harry Jail Spirit Divine. He give you a word on tonight. And the topic gonna be the death of Rachel and Isaac. And you know um Jacob loved Rachel. You know, he worked 14 years for her, you know, uh and then his father. You know, so Jacob gonna have some hard time. You know, he's gonna lose Rachel then then after that he's gonna lose um his father Isaac. You know, and then he gonna have another separation with him and his brother Esau. You know, but it's not gonna be a bad thing. You know, so um, we left off at Jacob returned to bathroom, and God told him to go and build an altar to God, and then Jacob cleaned house before, uh, before they left to go to bathroom. You know, so this lesson today is the death of Rachel and Isaac. You know, Rachel is pregnant now with her second child, you know. And remember, she couldn't have no child at first. You know, she had Joseph, and now she having her second child. You know, so the package is going to come from Genesis chapter 35, 16 through 29. Jacob moved on from battle. And after he set up a stone, a pillar at the place where God had talked with him. You know, so God had talked with him, you know, in that city. You know, so that's why he had put stone stones their memory that he had talked to God. So there was still, you know, some distance, you know, uh, from Iraq. And now Rachel is pregnant with her second child. You know, so Rachel began to give birth. You know, she began to give birth. Not 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 J Jacob got his family traveling. And, and and his wife is, you know, is is pregnant. You know I mean, hopping on and off the donkey, you know, going here and there, you know, so now she began to have, now she began to have great difficulty in her pregnancy, you know, so now Jacob is uh, uh, traveling, he's traveling back and forth and knowing he got a pregnant um, wife, you, you know, and a whole family, you know, and she having difficult with the pregnancy, why is she in difficult, the midwife said, don't be afraid because this is another son. You know, so her, you know, her first one was a, a, a boy, was Joseph. Now she having a second son. You know, so as she breathed her last breath, but she was dying, and she named him ben Benjamin. You know, but Jacob named it Benjamin. You know, so Jacob Jacob renamed it Benjamin. So Rachel died and buried on the way to Iraq, which is Basra. You know, so. They bury her, you know, and then he, he, you know, he on his way to go see his father. And then Rachel, you know, died, you know, having difficult with her pregnancy. You know, so now, over her tomb, Jacob set up a pillar, you know, and to this day, the pillar is still there with Rachel name on it, Rachel on the tomb. You know, so, um, Rachel died, and her Pacific difficult is not described. They just said uh, they just said difficult. And, you know, so it's not being uh subscribed. You know, however, her experience is extremely painful. You know, her uh, situation and sorrow deep. Now with her finding breath, she named her son. Even though she was dying, you know, taking her last breath, she still had time to think and name that child. You know, that was amazing. You know, so with her final breath, she named the son, and she would never see him. You know, she named the child, but she died, and she would never see him. You know, so meaning um, she picked that name because it means the son of trouble, the son of her trouble. You know, so Israel moved on again and pitched his tent beyond Meldad, you know, um, the whole Israel was living in that region. You know, so Jacob's son Reuben went in, you know, so poor Jacob. Jacob just gone through so much. Now he got his older son with, with Lee, you know, the one here with Lee. The older son, now all of this is going on. He done lost Rachel, you know, he trying to get to his father, but then at the same time, you got, ja you got Jacob, older son Reuben, went in and slept with his with um uh, with um uh, Rachel servant and Israel heard about it. 
you know, Israel heard about. So now, uh, Belial is racial servants who Lee, son, oldest son, slept with. You know, so now Jacob have a hole on all kind of angles. You know, racial died. And then her, then his son sleep with on um, racial servants. You know, so now Jacob came home to his father, Isaac, and now he gone home to his father, and then his father died. You, you know, so he, he he on a journey, you know, trying to get to his father. You know, in, in the process of getting to his father, his racial died. The woman that he loved, the woman that he had worked for 14 years for, the woman that, that he, he had ignored Lee for, for racial, you know, and then she died. And then he turned around and finally get to his father's house so Isaac died. You know, they say Isaac was 180 years old. They were full, full and prosperous life. You know, so then he took his last bread and he died. And gathered his people. He was full of age. And Esau and Jacob had buried their father. So Jacob just got a bad. You know, first he was having problems with Lamb. And then God told him to leave from that and go back home. You know, so it looked like everywhere he turned, you, you know, he he um he he got difficulties. And then all the difficulties like with his own family. You know, so Jacob lost Rachel and he lost Isaac. You know, remember early on when Rachel couldn't have children, remember at the beginning, you know, when Lee kept on having the children. You know, and Rachel was not having the children until she started having a servant, you know, sleep with um this the sleep with Jacob to have kids. And remember what she said. She said, Jacob, give me some kids or I die. She said, Give me some children or I die. Janai, we see that she had that child. She had the child that she wanted. But she you got to remember. The words that come out of your mouth. Because God remember everything that you say. That's why no matter what I go to, I don't never say I'd rather be dead. You know, you can't say those words. You got to still speak positive when you're angry and mad. You know, because some words will go out there. You know, so she spoke them words. You know, she spoke them words that if you don't give me no children, I will die. You know, so, so God get her that child. You know, but then she died right after, right at the moment she trying to deliver that child. So Rachel died in childbirth. And this person who died, you know, uh, it's the same person say, um, Jacob, you don't give me no children. I'm going to die. She said that early on. You know, so Isaac died, 180 years old, live a full and possible life. You know, so let's look at Genesis uh, 36, 1 through 8, just dealing with Esau. We see Esau wives, you know, from Can Canada land, where his father told him not to take wives there, but he did. You know, his father told him not to take them women there, you know, but he disregarded his parents and did it anyway. So Esau took his wives and his um sons and daughters, and all the members of his household he acquired in Canaan and moved to a land some distance from his brother Jacob. Now, this is going to be the same situation that it was with Abraham and Lot. You know, now these, after they buried their father, you know, they tried to stay together, you know, stay close together, you know, but they both are blessed. They both got so much stuff so they cannot live together. They have to go a uh, far distance, you know, from each other because of uh, overflow of possession. And that the same thing happened with Abraham and Lot. You know, they had to separate because they had too much stuff. So we see that Esau and Jacob had to separate because they had too much livestock, too many flocks, too many animals, you know, and they had to move not too far, but he moving down the, sh down the street from each other, you know, a distance from each other. You know, they could not stay close together. Their possession was too uh, too great for them to remain together. You know, the land where they were staying could not support them both because of their lifestyle. It was too much. You know, Esau settled um, in a hill country of Syria. 
You know, so they they they're in the same predicament uh, uh, Abraham and Lot was. You know, so we see that Jacob and Esau tried to live close together. They tried to live close together. You know, you remember they reunite. You know, from for uh, after twenty years. You know, so I guess they were trying to live next next to each other. You know, to make up for old time. You know, but then they could not stay together because they have too much possession. You know, uh, they try to stay close together, but they both have too much possession, and they then they uh, decide to move down from each other. So they ain't move too far from each other, but they had to move enough, you know, where uh, they they both can settle this stuff in. You know, so Esau had moved um, with his family, his servant, and all that he owned away from Jacob. You know, so they had to separate and outside of the promised land. You know, so they're leaving Canaan and they're supposed to stay in Canaan. But because, like you say, that's the promised land. You know, we, we see that Jacob going to stay there. You know, because when God talks to him again, he going to be in Canaan. But Esau talking about moving somewhere else. So the reason of the second separation is between them. Jacob and Esau own too much lifestyle. For the land to so uh, to support both tribes, you know, we see that two riches cannot live, you know, side by side. You know, you have to separate. You know, so Jacob and Esau had to separate due to too much possession. On top of that, you know, now he got to separate from his brother. You know, when they had just re reunite, you know, from um from twenty years ago, and then they got to like separate it again. You know, they already were separated for 10, 20 years. You know, so on top of that, Jacob lost the woman that he loved, that he had worked for 14 years for, and his father died. You know, he got all, he got obstacles after obstacles, you know, chaos after chaos. You know, the one woman that he loved passed away. And then he get there, his father passed away. And then another situation happened where his oldest son gonna sleep with Rachel's sister with the servants. You know, so Jacob got all kind of um all kind of heartaches that's coming at him, you know, but he's standing strong, you know, and that's how we have to do, you know. I, I'm dealing with all kind of uh situations, hard time, you know. Jacob letting us know. That and when hard time hit, you know, you got to still stay firm. You know, he got all kind of obstacles hitting this way. You know, you got the woman that he loved died. The father that he loved died. You know, and then you got your older son going to go sit and do all kind of um, wickedness. You know, so Jacob have a lot on his plate right now. You know, but Jacob was still standing. And we see with Jacob, when hard time hit. He keep it moving and stay and try to stay humble. He always, you know, silence and try to stay humble. And he don't let it stop him. He keep it moving. You know, so we see uh we see Jacob had a hard time. You know, first he had a hard time with Lamb. You know, Lamb to see him, you know, uh, then, uh, then Lamb uh, try to uh flee after him. You know, and God kept on guiding him. God said, look, I need you to go back, back to your hometown. You know, so Jacob just been having a hard time at the hard time. You know, but he's still standing strong. You, you know, he lost his he lost his wife. He lost his father. You know, his son did, a, did wickedness. You know, so he got all kind of stuff coming at him where he had to step back and try to figure out what is he going to do and how he going to have it? And that's what a lot of us have to do. You, you know, so this topic pretty much disturbs like, oh, Jacob having so much hard time. And how you deal with your hard time? You know, how you deal with losses? How you deal? I mean, a lot of us cannot deal with it. You know, but we see how Jacob is dealing with it pretty much fine. You know, and the second separation is not not a bad thing. It's a good thing because they have too much stuff, you know. So pretty much it seemed like, you know, oh, Jacob is getting hit after hit. You know, he have a situation after situation. 
but we see how he handled it. He, he staying humble and he's still keeping it moving. Whatever he has to do, he constantly still doing it. You know, it's like it's coming right after you, right after now. You know, and I and the son is in a mix of the the first the, the other son, you know, took out a whole lot of people for doing that to his sister. You know, Naomi had had cheated him and stuff like that. So Jacob just been going to so much ever since he flee flee from his um from his hometown. You know, so that's all the word I have for you on today. And remember, just try to stay humble and try to deal with your hard time the best way you can. Because I know I am. I'm trying to deal with the best way I can. You know, but you got to stay humble because you got to keep a steady mind to make the best decision. You know, so um, after all that happened, you know, Jacob still took his family and it started moving to the next thing. You know, so we have to make the best decision in our hard time. You know, and we see Jacob be silent, but he still take his whole family and move to the next level. You know, so that's all the um and I know Jacob was in pain when his wife was in pain. That's a woman he loved it so dearly. You know, so that's all the word I have for y'all today. Y'all have a blessed night and I see y'all on the next video.